Welcome to a short look into how Muslims were treated in the Union of the Soviet Socialist Republics, the USSR. In this video we will be focusing on times during and straight after World War II. Everyone knows the USSR was the force to end the Nazi reign of terror. Soviets paid a heavy price for this victory, the loss of over 26 million civilians as well as troops. What is less known is that over 3.5 million Muslims fought in the Red Army against Nazi aggression, which is a massive increase from the 500,000 Muslims that fought in World War I in the Russian Imperial Forces. You would then think that the powerful Soviet authorities would be grateful for this vital manpower. Right before the war, Stalin launched a brutal deportation campaign against many Muslims in his empire, including the Chechnyans, the English, the Balkars, the Karachai, and the Crimean Tatars. Most of them were deported to Siberia or Central Asia. Now, for an intense story. Raki Amzan or Kush Barev on April 30th was the first person to raise the USSR's flag on the Reichstag, the German parliament building. Despite many high-profile petitions, Boresh Berev received no official recognition in his lifetime. In fact, the Republic of Kazakhstan's president's archive shows he was denied honours as his father has been declared an enemy of the people by Stalinist authorities. They even went as far as giving the credit to two other soldiers. It was only in May 1999 that a Kazakh presidential decree posthumously declared him a hero of Kazakhstan. Anyway, that flag was shot down by German snipers shortly after. The whole raising was staged once again by Russian photographer Yevgeny Kaldi a few days later on May the 2nd, 1945. I hope this gives you a better insight.